Hey y'all, this is A.L. Thick Madame, and this is a Black-owned business spotlight segment. But the twist this time is that it is on a brand that I've already highlighted before, and that is My L. Um, they have some new products and some products that are new for me because I've never used them before that I plan on using and I'm going to show them to you and I am going to demonstrate the use of some of them in this video. I have a picture of one of them. So let me tell y'all real quick. I took a shower. My job, first of all, my job called me and it was like, you don't have to come in to work tonight. I was like, okay, then. like that really was the vibe. Like the person, that particular person, I'm really cool with her. She really tries to look out for me. She really tries to scour and find people that'll take my spot on my days off when they assign me to work. She a real one because it was like two and a half hours out from the time that I had to get up and get ready and be at work. And I was just like, thank you. And sometimes it worked out like that. Sometimes you could literally be walking out the door or right before you got a clock in and then they find somebody. So I'm just glad I have to leave the house. But anyway, y'all, um, but yeah, that, that popped off. But so I was like, okay, so now I, you know, I'm refreshed because I have already slept. Let me get up from here, get myself together, take a shower and wash my hair. I've been needing to wash my hair and wanting to wash my hair for I don't know how long. Like, I don't know how long I had to twist out in, y'all. I don't know, but people were still setting it off over it. Um... There was another product that I'd use that I tell y'all about all the time. Um, I ain't gonna say nothing about them because this ain't the video for them. I've already done a video on them, so you know it is what it is. But and my hair didn't stink. Like that's one thing that I love. I love the fact that every product that I use, no matter whether it's an oil, a uh, um a balm, a uh, souffle, whatever, the custard, none of it. None of those things leave my hair funky at any point. My hair and my scalp smell fine. Up until the day I decide I want to wash it. Like, that's one thing I love because there are certain products out there. I can put it on my hair and my scalp right now. Within two days, my hair and my scalp is just not here for it. I don't like stuff like that. And so I'm glad that... um I ain't got to go through that. Anyway, y'all, let's get into this. So, there is a, there's a bundle that was released. I don't remember how long ago, but it was very, very recent. Just this summer, if I'm not mistaken, or the end of the spring. But I think it was this past, well, this summer, like right now, that was released. And it was the Oats and Honey Blend. And... At first, they were only releasing in a bundle, and I'm the type of person where I only like select products. If the things that they claim that the product does when you use it don't apply to what I like using products for, I'm not going to waste my money on it. So I was like, man, I wish they would sell this stuff separately. They actually started selling them separately or whatever. If they were doing it before, I, I felt like I only saw bundles, so I never even went on the site. But anyway, they had a sale like a week or two ago and they were like five or seven dollars. And so I was like, okay, I get to try it out and it's not sky high. So I'm glad about that. So yeah, y'all, the two products from the bundle that I got from the Oats and the Honey Blend is this smoothing hair balm. This is what it looks like go up a little bit. I don't know if y'all be, there you go. Oats and Honey Smoothing Hair Balm. And a soothing leave-in conditioner for self, uh, sensitive scalp. All of this is supposed to be for sensitive scalp. You know, um, I don't know if any of y'all ever had Impentigo or if you've ever had uh, chicken pox. But my grandmother's um, both ended up running me a, a oatmeal bath and that helped with the inflammation and the itching and all that stuff. 
Y'all know my camera trash, my phone camera. So hopefully y'all understand what's going on here. Um, I have not used either of these products yet. Um, let me introduce y'all to the last three products that I purchased, and these are older items. All right, now this particular one is something that I've had before. The very first product that I had was something that I bought. I bought this from out of Walmart, and it was um, a different product, but it was this particular one. It's the Pomegranate and Honey Blend. I love how it, y'all, I just I love how it smells. I love how these products for this particular um, scent, as I want to call it, my hair smells good the entire time. You know how people love to joke and say, oh, y'all natural hair people, y'all smell like berries and honey. Yeah, I be smelling good. In addition to the perfumes and things that I wear, yeah, my hair be smelling good too. So yeah, um, but uh, the product that I use is not going to be featured in this video. But yeah, I just wanted to point out this. I love how these smell. Everything that I have that is pomegranate and honey smells amazing. But this is a super whole edge gel. I'm going to get into this. Uh, probably first because I have used this and I will tell y'all my experience. The next thing that I have is from that same one, pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with hold. It says texture mousse for type four hair. I have never used it. I plan on trying it out. Um, maybe this fall. I'm not going to use it right now, but as usual, it smells good. It smells exactly like how all the other products of there smell. I'm scared because I don't, I've never really had anything that gave my hair, my natural hair, a, a super hard hold like that to where I feel like I'm going to be like, ooh, is it going to be on the level of spritz or what? I really don't know what to expect. So I just wanted to show y'all that that was one of the things that I purchased. This, uh, everything that y'all about to see, I paid $5 for. It was either 5 or $7 the other week. Um, but yeah, I've never had this before either. And I am going to try. I love how it smells. And the last thing that I have is the Myel Mangonogo, Mangonogo Oil Exfoliating Shampoo to clarify and deep cleanse to remove product buildup. This is what it looks like. I was always wondering what this smells like. And I did use this today, and that's why y'all see my hair looking like this. It's glistening because my hair um, just got washed. Uh, is that a gray hair? Yeah, that's a gray hair right there. It's just, just doing a lot. I was like, what is going on? Oh, no. But anyway, that's why my hair glistening right now. I don't have any product in my hair. Um, only thing that's in my hair right now is water. As you see, look, 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 look at the water. Water, water. Um... But yeah, I was actually in the middle of washing my hair and I was almost finished. And then I thought about, I said, no, hopped out, soaking wet. Cause I was like, no, I want to try the shampoo and conditioner. But I forgot that the conditioner I got was the leave-in conditioner and not the one that you use while you're in a shower or you're in the middle of washing your hair. You have to actually rinse out, which is fine. I am going to go to Walmart to see if they have it at some point in time today, early in the morning, probably, well, in the next couple of hours after they open, uh, before it gets super hot and all of that. I'm going to see if they have the conditioner in there. I think when I went on their website, it was sold out, so that's why I didn't have it. Um, since I love these products from this company, I did intend to get the conditioner that goes with this, but I'm almost positive it was not on the site, so that's why I didn't get it. But yeah, I have a picture that I plan on posting somewhere within this video because, I mean, if somebody would be nice enough to just let me know um, how I can insert photos while I'm still talking and it can be shown while I am, you know, talking about a product or talking about something, I would be greatly appreciative. Um, and there are people who do it and they don't pay for any type of editing uh, stuff. So... It'd be nice if somebody would tell me. I don't know, though. But, yeah, when I used this, first of all, the smell. I like the smell a whole lot. It does not smell anything like the pomegranate and honey blend stuff. Uh, whatever this oil is, I heard that this was a great oil for your hair. 
uh, I'm really upset that they didn't have the conditioner because I wanted to see how my hair was going to feel. Interestingly enough, I don't know if this is what it's supposed to do. I ain't going to lie. Only thing I knew was that uh, you're supposed to use a dime size amount, which I found out after I already poured out a dime size amount. That's just how, I mean, I don't usually have to use a whole lot of uh, shampoo, so I wasn't concerned with that. But yeah, y'all, uh, I used a dime size amount. I don't know how, but um, as I'm rubbing and rubbing and I'm, you know, I'm massaging it into my hair and my scalp, my hair, it, it basically like shrunk up. The curls, like I already told y'all before, my curls in the back, they set it off anyway. So, I mean, I ain't never had a problem with that. My hair in the front, it's the loosest curl pattern in my hair. It's the front. I don't know why I actually big chopped twice because I thought I lost my mind. I was like, dang, I thought I wet my hair and cut everything off. I, and no, I do not use any products. Uh, I, I don't use any um, heat on my hair, meaning I don't straighten my hair. I don't have any heat damage, none of that. And when I have tried blow drying my hair dry or halfway dry, it has been on like a non-existent heat or I use cold air. And when I have used slight heat, it has been less than three times. <laughs> so it's like, nah, you can't make it seem like I have heat damage and that's why. But yeah. It made my hair draw up so tight. I couldn't believe it. And I'm not mad at it because I can always do, you know, whatever to elongate it and do what I need to do. But yeah, I found that to be interesting. But what you do with this is you massage it in and you let it sit for two minutes and then you rinse it out. During the time when I um, did this shampoo clarifying situation, I went and got my phone and I took a picture. So it had been two minutes by the time I took the picture. So it's like, to me, it was like it was not really drying, but it's like by the time I took the picture, a lot of it like soaked into my hair and it's like it was doing something to my hair. And I feel like that's why it shrunk up the way it did. I don't know what is going on, but I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm hopeful that Walmart has it. I am going to look on their app and see if they... Just so happened to carry it. I know at one point in time they had like maybe two or three products of theirs only that they had in the store. Uh, it was uh, like a curling mousse or I mean a curling um, souffle and something else. And I love the one that pumps. I haven't used that in a while, but my hair loves it. I love it. It is what it is. So let's move on to the next thing because I already told y'all I'm not using this until later. Okay, listen, I have to explain this to y'all. I tried this a few days ago, right? And this again is the Super Hold Edge Gel. Okay, y'all don't understand that before I ever became a high schooler, I'm pretty sure I was in junior high when I first used a product that was like literally exactly this. Uh, They've never worked and my hair was relaxed at the time. So I would try to do my edges, slick my edges down or whatever. Within 30 minutes, poof back up as if it was nothing. So I've used wax. It does the same thing. That's why I never understand why people live for stuff like this and put this stuff in their hair when they do the knotless braids and all that other stuff. Stuff that's that consistency. So. Okay, this is not a sponsor or nothing like that. I just needed to give y'all an example. I legit could have had a hair um, a hair channel back in the day. Uh, I really could have. So this is a product that I purchased when it was brand new, as you can see. And I was excited because the oil that is in it, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. Right there. I heard it's awesome. For your hair so I was so excited I was like oh my gosh maybe they've changed something in the formula that really helps to lay your hair down and keep your hair laying down because they really people really be setting it off so I was like okay it's been years it's been well over 10 15 years maybe things have changed no 
It's it literally did the same thing. Still drew up, did all of that, and I was very very upset. And I got this on purpose because it had that oil in it and it said smooth hold. So I expected it to lay my hair down and keep my hair laying down. And I love organic root stimulator products. Um, all of my other ones are used up. The last thing that I had left over was this. And because I don't use heat, I have no use for this anymore. <laughs> so I'm keeping it around just in case I ever get up the nerve to straighten my hair like I used to back in the day. But uh, I don't know about all that. But uh, yeah, so moving right along. Now we're moving into the new territory. The smoothing, soothing, excuse me, leave-in conditioner for sensitive scalp. All right. So I love how this smells. I smelled it when I first got it. It smells like, um, what's the name of that? I don't think it's Pantene Pro-V. It smells like something that I've used before. And so it made me happy. Like, I love how this smells. Haven't used it, but we're going to see what it's, what it's talking about. I'm not going to do a humongous section of it just yet. I am going to eventually put it all over my hair. My hair is still soaking wet. But um, because, because I am, I have a, uh, there's a method to my madness. I'm only going to do like a little bitty amount in that one little section. So that's what I'm about to do now. So I put a little bit on my finger. It smells so good, y'all. I don't know what in the world they be doing, but the products be smelling so good. So, yeah. Oh, it feels good. Wait a minute. Y'all done went off. It really is soothing and smoothing. They should have said soothing and smoothing. It feels good, y'all. It feels really good. Oh, my, wait a minute. It smells good. Oh, my gosh. I almost remembered what it smelled like, y'all. Maybe it'll come to me before the end of this video. But it smells good. It feels good on my hair. Yes. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. Um... Let me see. The directions apply directly after shampooing and conditioning. Do not rinse out. Saturate each strand of the hair to condition. May be used as a styler or a or to refresh curls. All right, but yeah, this feels really good. Feels really, really good. And it smells good, y'all. Oh my gosh. And so the last item is the soothing hair balm for sensitive scalp. All right, I, this was the first thing in that bundle that I was very, very interested in trying because I was like, balm, hmm, interesting. How is the balm used for them? And the only reason why I was interested is because there have been so many different products that back in the day, a word meant one thing, but nowadays it's something else because balm for me is usually like, where my own thing at? A bomb of something for me usually is like in a container or something like this, right? So I was like, is this going to be one of those edge sticks or something like that? But then I saw in the bundle, it looked like this. So I was like, oh, it could be different. And maybe the consistency is, it's supposed to be like that. But then the way they have it in this bottle, the consistency will make it be, will do a different thing to your hair. I don't know, y'all. That's just how my mind works. Okay, so look at the directions, y'all. Apply soothing hair balm to wet or dry hair and style this desired. So I'm going to take that same little section. I'm going to put a little bit on there. And I'm going to see what it's hidden for. So see what it feel like. See what it do. Yeah, this week I'm just going to try to stick with these products only and twist my hair and see what it feel like. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to just use these and twist my hair out. But yeah, my curls in the back be setting it off, but the front will child, because my hair is straight. It's like pretty much straight in the front. Like I have to do the absolute most to get it to curl up, but it feels good. It smells good. I'm trying to think of what it smells like. Um, Well, this is more of a somewhat stronger smell. This isn't as heavy. I don't know what it is they added to, to the balm, but it's just slightly stronger. It does smell similar, but it's a little bit stronger. So, I don't know what that is. I can't think of... It smells like a lotion or something that I've... Yes, it smells like a lotion, like a Jergens or somebody. Some lotion, that's what it smells like, because I'm really trying to think of what it is that I'm remembering. 
that it smells like. Um, but yeah, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all as far as this super whole edge gel. Like I told y'all, I'm sorry. I don't know what, like my mind's all over the place. I'm so happy I ain't got to work. I done did the most. But let me tell y'all about it. So I tried it the other day and I was like, let me see what this foolishness is going to do. Like, first of all, when I bought it, I think I thought that this was an actual hair gel and not this type of situation not this <laughs> my hair does not like this my hair has never liked this every single company that has come out with something even the one that that claims oh you can rub it yeah i can rub it in that moment but my hair my hair draws right up i tell y'all guess what guess what my hair did when i put this on it the the smooth down was everything when i smoothed it down Y'all, I smoothed it down. I went to sleep and woke up. The side that I didn't have it on and the side that I had it on, it looked, let me show you what it looked like. I, I got to put this on here to show y'all what it looked like. Ooh, that scared me a little bit. Wait a minute. It looked just like this. And I just couldn't believe it. I was just like, It looked like a really, 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 really tight coil. That That's what it looked like. Every area that I had that thing in looked like a tight coil. A really, really uniform tight coil. So my hair didn't look like a mess, but it was not slicked down at all. It, all of that was over with. And like that day, I was like, at first I was like, no, I'm just going to do one little part. But then I ended up doing this, this. Like it was cute the way I, like I used to do the little baby hair situation before the word baby hair was the thing to say and all that I'm talking about years upon years ago so I did I said oh let me see what it's doing let me do the little swoopage and all this other let me let me let me do that it was tight coils do you hear me the hair up here was reacting as if it was in the back of my head and my coils are the tightest in the back so yeah for me if your hair like mine, I'm pretty sure it's not going to stay laying down. It don't work for me. Um, I knew I was not going to like this for me when I saw celebrity um, brand ambassadors for this company use it. And I saw it. I was like, oh, no, that's the same stuff. But when I bought it on the website, I mistook it for a regular hair gel. So that's what it was. I was like, dang it. When I got it, I said, what is this? This little bitty bottle. I was like, oh no. But I was like, I'm still gonna try it. Maybe they could, maybe some changed because a lot of people claim that a lot of this stuff has changed and whatever. It's still the same for me. It still don't work. It is what it is. But anyway, I will let y'all know if I'm able to find in store the conditioner for this shampoo. Because this shampoo is everything. I can't believe what it did to my hair. It, my hair feels great. Uh, my hair is normally not this tight when I get out of the shower. But yeah, it is everything. Like this tightly coiled. It really is everything and I'm here for it. But anyway, uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed my somewhat review on the newest products and some of the oldie but goodies for some of, some of the other people that like these products. But yeah, I love everything except this. <laughs> like my hair just, it does not do anything for my hair. I already have products that I maintain moisture and it coils up. So I don't need this for that. So, I mean, I don't need anything that's going to coil my hair up. If I want this to be slicked down, I want to have something that's going to actually let it lay down. And I'm not ready to go back to my Gorilla Snot for that. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not doing any hairstyles at the moment that requires my hair to be slicked down and all that stuff. Like, it's, it's just going to be whatever it's going to be when I do it. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off of here, oil my scalp, and apply the rest of this product to my whole head and twist it up. I might see y'all later on today. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. But I got to go into work Friday, so we'll see how it go. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. I will see y'all later on. Y'all be safe out there and stay cool.